hey what's going on guys let's see what's going to be the output of this given circuit right here now here you can see this ab connected to the nand gate this is nand gate because we have and gate connected with the node at the end so this is a nand gate and when it go through this one what's going to happen is we are going to have a b and nand mean bar so these two are not like a b not and then here we have same thing we have c d not both of them are entering this one so what's going to happen is these two are going to multiply a b dot c d bar and all together another bar right so that's going to be the expression we are going to get after these two enter through this nand gate and this is going to go through this one this is a xor gate so xor gate and here we have zero input zero mean this connected to the ground so this is going to be what we are going to have zero when we have xor gate we put plus like this and then the final output is going to be this one but here you can do one more thing you can apply de morgan's theorem to get a better output like de morgan theorem says there are two equations in de morgan's theorem one of them is when we have x dot y all together bar that is equivalent to x bar plus y bar and another one says x plus y all together bar is equal to x bar dot y bar now let's look at here what we have right here here you can think this one as x and this one as y and if these two are dot right so this is the first case so these two are dot and all together bar that is equal to x bar plus y bar x is what in our case x is a b bar a b bar plus so a b bar barred again and then c d bar barred again so if we have two bar it means it's like negative negative one negative negative one is equal to positive one so when we have two bar 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 cancels each other like negative negative so these two are going to cancel so we are going to get a b plus c d as our output right or i can put it as one more step to show this is equal to this one a b plus c d so the output like the input also going to be a b plus c d and the output is going to be 0 plus a b plus c d and if since this is 0 the final output is going to be a b plus c d alone right now let's verify this one through the truth table and also let's see what's going to be the output in terms of truth table okay let's go ahead and create the truth table here we have four di different terms we have a b c d so when we have four different terms how many variables we are going to have we are going to have 16 different variables now let's look at that one right here okay let's get rid of this one because we need some space we are going to have 16 different variables because 2 power when since we have four different terms a b c d we are going to have 2 power 2 power 4 orientation so that means 16 now let's go ahead and see what are those 16 different terms are like different orientations are let's use a different color we have a b okay, let's start from here because i'm going to create a big table right here so let's start from here a b c d okay when we have 16 like uh, it's always the, the pattern goes like this we are going to have if it's 16 eight of them for the first one eight of them are going to be zero eight of them are going to be one so zero 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 one three six and one more eight of them are zero eight of them are one 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 and then four of them are zero four of them are one zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 then two of them are zero two of them are one two zero two one two zero two one two zero two one two zero two one okay 
and uh, the last one is going to be 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay so this is going to be the 16 different orientations now let's see here we have what we have a b okay let's look at this one this one is a b bar dot c d bar all together bar so i'm gonna find the result in terms of this one because this is equal to this one right this is equal to this one so this if we find out this one that should be same to the final output so we we can directly find this one this one is easier okay let's go ahead and do that here we have a b bar first i'm going to find a b bar and also i'm going to find c d bar then we have to dot these two together so that's gonna and also we have to bar that bar that one okay so this is going to be c actually a b bar dot c d bar all together bar that's one of the table i mean one of the column of the table and then we have zero input at the end for the xor gate and if it go through the xor gate we are going to get zero plus sign like this and then this is going to be a b instead of a b plus c d i can write this one a b bar dot c d bar all together bar it's going to be the same thing now let's see what's what we are going to get from here a b bar a is 0 0 so if you and 0 0 you're going to get 0 and but we have to complement that one so if we complement 0 0 that's going to be 1 so we have to have opposite of whatever the and we are getting so here 0 and 0 that's going to be 0 complement 1 1 1 0 times 1 that's going to be 0 complement that's going to be 1 again and this is also 1 this is also 1 this is also 1 1 1 1 1 but when we have 1 and 1 that's going to be 0 so the that's going to be 1 so the complement is going to be 0 so this is going to be 0 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 cd same thing if it's 0 0 that's going to be 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 in AND gate we will get 1 but complement is going to be 0 and here we get 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 okay so this is what we are getting right now then after that we have to AND these two together and complement that so if we AND these two together 1 and 1 that's going to be give us what 1 and complement that one that's going to give us 0 so 0 0 0 1 and 0 that's going to give us 0 0 complement 1 so this is going to be 1 then here 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and after that here all of them are going to be 0 since this is 0 input 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay all of them all 16 are 0 that's all we have to know and the next one is we are going to add like before we do that we have to know the truth table of xor gate for xor gate the truth table will look like this okay I'll let's let put that one in, in the side so if we have x y and the, if it's 0 0 we will get the final results as 0 if it's 0 1 we will get a 1 if it's 1 0 we will get a 1 if it's 1 1 we will get a 0 so here you can see when we have two different terms we will get a 1 it's 1 0 we will get a 1 but if both of them are equal we will get a 0 so here what we have to have here all of them are 0 we have to have a 1 in order to get a 1 so what's going to happen is except this one this one this one this one these are the only terms that's going to make this one one other than that everything is going to be zero because we have zero 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 so the output is going to be zero so the final answer is going to be what we are going to get uh, answer like this we are going to have zero 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 
here we will get 1 because 1 0 is 1 1 and then 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so this is going to be the final output okay this okay let me see am i doing it right zero hmm it looks like i made a mistake right here one and zero that is zero right so oh one and zero zero i have to complement that one that's going to give us one hmm so this one is opposite so this whole thing is going to be one because I was looking at this one 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 I was keep going in that way I forgot to look at the last four terms it's all zero so when we do that when we do the end this is going to be zero so we complement that one that's going to be one 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 okay so these three things is going to be one because we have one zero so this is going to be one 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 okay so here we have five different ones and that's it now let's see what happens if we instead of zero if we had a one it's going to be exactly opposite of this one because you can see if it's one zero you will get a one one zero one one zero one no no like if i take this one as one if this is one one zero one one zero one one zero one 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 that's going to be zero so you will get exactly opposite of this one so if this is 1 instead of 0. If this is 1 instead of 0, we will get this one to be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Then this whole thing is going to be 0 because all of them are 1. 1, 1 is 0 in the truth table for XOR, XOR gate. Okay. So this is going to, the whole thing is going to be 0 after that. Okay, that's uh, that's how we do the truth table for this kind of thing. Now let's look at another question. Let's get rid of all, all these things. Okay, so let's say we have a question like this. The question asks, G of A comma B comma C is equal to a b bar plus b bar c bar and uh, the question is asking expand to sum of product expand to sum of product and the second question is asking change it to product of sum change it to product of sum okay sum of product is what sum of product is mean terms mean terms mean where we have to have g of g should be equal to 1 so we have to look at the locations where we are getting g is equal to 1 and then we have to we can create the equation using that one so in order to do that first i have to create the truth table here we have three different terms a b c so there are there are going to be 2 power 3 8 different orientations so we are going to have a b c and here we have g okay so eight different zero one zero one zero one zero one then zero zero one one zero zero one one zero 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 one 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 okay eight different orientations now the next thing is we have to look at this one a b bar let's draw the circuit this is an AND gate so in AND gate we have to get an output one that's the purpose of min terms in min terms we have to look at the we have we have to look at the way where we can get one so a has to be one and b is connected to the nor gate i mean not gate so not gate mean this one has to be zero in order to get a one right here so that will result in one okay so we have to have a to be 1 and b to be 0. Let's see the places where we have a to be because if one of them is 1, the whole thing is 1 because, because in OR gate we just have to have 1, 1 in order to get 1 as our final answer. 
so that's why we are looking each term if this is one we the result is going to be one and also if this is one the result is going to be one so we look this one individually and see where we get one for this one to be one we have to have a the first term to be one we have to have a to be one and b to be zero so a to be one b to be zero so here we have a one b zero so this is going to be one a one b zero this is going to be one so these are the only two terms that make possibility of one now let's look at the other term b bar c bar so both of them are connected to the and gate and both of them are connected to the not gate first so not gate goes right here not gate goes right here and here we have b and c both of them has to be zero in order to result in one because after it go through the not gate we are going to get one one and that will result in one so we have to have we have to look at the locations where we have b and c to be zero b and c to be zero here we have that one and this is already here so that those are the two places we have b and c to be zero therefore others are going to be zero 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 so when we talk about sum of product we are looking at the locations where we get one so from this table now we can go ahead and express our final output like uh, our sop term so g of a b c so first for the first one we are getting one in order to get one what we have to have we have to have a bar b bar c bar because o here we have all of them are zero so when we talk about sum of product we are talking about and gate when we talk about product of sum we are talking about or gate since this is sum of product we have to see what is what value of these three things give us one so in order to get a one we have to have all three to be one so all three to be one mean we have to have a bar b bar c bar because in that way we will complement all these zero and make it one so a bar b bar c bar that's the first one and also we have one right here in that one we have a already one so we can just a keep the a as it is but b and c are zero so we have to complement that one in order to make this one one so b bar c bar plus here we have a already one so we can just keep it as it is b is zero so we have to complement that one c is one so we can keep it as it is so this is going to be the sum of product expression okay so this one answer the first question the second question is change it to product of sum so when we talk about product of sum we are talking about zeros and zeros and or gate okay zeros where we have zeros zero we have zeros right here and also right here so we are going to have five different terms like here we had three ones so we have three different things here we are going to have five different things so first one is in uh, when we talk about this product of sum we are talking about or gate and also we are going to see what are the values like what are the terms that's going to give us zero like let's see here a is already zero b is already zero we have to have c to be zero in order to get a zero in or gate because in or gate if some if one thing is one the whole thing is one so we have to have everything to be zero in order to get a zero so here what we have to have we have to have a b already zero so we can keep it as it is a plus b and then c is one so we have to complement that one c bar okay the next one is a is already zero b is not zero so we have to complement that one c is already zero we can keep it as it is and then here we have a is zero b is one so we have to complement c is one we have to complement that one and here we have another zero that is a is one so we have to complement that one b is one we have to complement that one too c is zero so we have to keep it like this then the last one all of them are one so we have to complement all of them a bar plus b bar plus c bar and that's going to be product of sum okay and that's it and that's it for the second that's going to be the second answer and that's it for this video i hope this helps thanks for watching